Many people dream of turning their childhood passion into the calling of a lifetime. Well, one Thai artist has done just that. He's used his obsession with superheroes to transform heaps of scrap metal into towering statues of his favorite film and TV characters. An old barrel turned into a cow, a scrap truck becoming a wallie, and a bunch of dinosaurs guarding the entrance to a warehouse in central Thailand. It's the House of Iron Robots, a place where heaps of metal bolts and twisted car parts become sculptures. It belonged to an artist who as a teenager was an avid collector of figurines of comic book heroes. All the ideas used to come from movie characters, but now it's grown to include furniture, desks, chairs, cars, motorcycles and animals. In terms of the products that people like, it evolves over time. Over the past 10 years, people used to like aliens and predator, but now they like transformers. Nearly 90% of the materials used in the production are recycled metal. It's a cost-cutting measure, but it also means each piece is unique. Even though local restaurant and bar owners are interested in having these robots adorn their venues, the biggest customers are abroad. Around 80% of sales are to overseas clients, who've spotted the statues on social media, and the prices vary. The large one costs from $300 to $3,000, depending on the difficulty. It's hard to say how much the prices are, because it depends on how long it takes. A robot which takes a month to build will be a different price to one which takes two months. These superheroes are even coming to the rescue of Thailand's temples. Monks have started commissioning them to entertain children in return for donations from their parents. Thai people know about wooden sculptures, but robots are only a recent thing. In my generation, I can do this for a period of time, and then I want to pass on that knowledge to others who are interested, so that this work will live on and this place will become well known. Proving that one man's junk is another man's art, and giving old cars like these a second lease of life.